Just want to say something really quick about up cut and down cut router bits. So this is a flush trim bit. This one happens to be a compression bit. So it's got up cut on the top and down cut on the bottom. So the reason this is important is your orientation of your material. What it means when it says up cut bit, it means that it's taking the chip load from the bit up towards the router motor. So this is traditionally the router is like this up above, right? And you're holding it. And so it's taking the chips up towards the router. In a table mounted situation like this, obviously it's going down, but it's still an up cut bit because it's taking the chips from there up to the motor. Let me show you why this is important. Now in this case here, I wanna trim off this little tab. Now if I'm using an up cut bit, the direction of the force is going to be pulling down on this or it's going to be pulling up towards the router motor in which case it's going to be pulling any chips out this way there's no edge support underneath here well in this case i want a down cut bit that's pulling chips away from the motor and pushing up into the material therefore the cut is supported and you'll get less chip out so obviously thinking which way your cut direction is going and which way your chip load is going is very important for getting a clean cut. Let's run over to the CNC really quick and I'll show you how it's different there. Now over on the CNC here, the bit is coming down into the cut and so you want the cut fibers to be supported. So you want a down cut bit so it's pushing the cut into here. The problem with the down cut bit in a CNC situation is that it's also pushing the chips down into the cut. And that creates a problem for binding. And when you're running a small bit like this one, for example, if you get too much of a chip load in there, it'll break your bit. The other problem, of course, is once you get through the other side, then you're still pushing down. And so you're pushing away from the material you want to cut, increasing your likelihood of chip out. This is where a compression bit comes into play. You can see here how the spiral changes on the bit. And when it goes one way, it's a down cut, and then this is an up cut bit at the end of it. So that way, when it goes through the material, it's pulling the material up into itself, making a cleaner cut. And this up here is cutting down, making a cleaner cut on the top. These are really only useful for thinner materials where you're making a full plunge cut, particularly in small ones like this. But there you go. There's a brief rundown of why up cut, down cut matters on flush trimming, on CNC routers, any, any spiral bit basically. It's about the material and how it's cutting and how it's being supported. Hope that was helpful. If it was, why don't you subscribe, hit the like button, all that crap, and uh, catch you on the next one.